Hey, okay, sir. Welcome back to the Simpsons Tap Down. Well, we have a brand new update that is hidden in the game. We just had a major update having to do with clowns, but now it's going to have to do with Mr. Burns and Mo and a few other people as well. You will have to head over to your respective app store to download the update as well, so make sure you do that. Let's see what we got. Going once, going twice. This 18th century King Dynasty porcelain vase is Bangs Gal sold to Mr. Burns for $10,000. Smithers, order me a celebratory drink. Excuse me, bartender, can I get a Brandy Alexander? A what? Order something normal. All I got is booze that looks like water and beer that tastes like water. Oh my, a sassy servant? I've heard about these. Who are you and what is your full-time occupation? I'm right, so happy. Mo Sizak here, the proud owner of the worst bar in Springfield. I'm only mixing drinks at this snooze fest so I can keep my bar's doors open. Not that anyone would notice if they closed. I too own a small business, as well as large businesses and even larger conglomerates. What is the name of your enterprise? Sir, Mosisak owns and operates Mo's Tavern. It's a semi-popular amongst a small throng of your least effective employees. Mo's Tavern, eh? I must admit, I have never heard of your haunt, nor plan to ever set foot in it. But I do find your candidness refreshing in this extremely pretentious bubble I choose to live in. I feel like I was going to sneeze there. Look, I'm not used to super wordy compliments. If I say thank yous, will you give me a giant tip or something? So we must get going. They're about to auction off that Russian oligarch's yacht that was seized in Monaco. Don't interrupt, Smithers. Now, Mr. Sislak, how would you like to escape the monotonous auction and join me at my friend's mansion? It'll be an after party for the ages. After party at a mansion? Beats wanting down drinks for these geriatric freaks. No offense. Excellent. Wait, this isn't some eyes wide shut erotic ritual type party, right? Because Venetian masks don't cover enough of my face according to women. No, no, it's just a standard fete with some of my favorite chums from other mums. Smithers, ready to plimp cuisine. Blimpersine? It is a limousine blimp. My helicopter is in the shop, as is my limousine helicopter. But not to worry, the old stretch Hindenburg still flies great. Well, that dialogue just kept going, didn't it? Going once, going twice, sold to Mr. Burns. So Rich Texan is going to bid on the yacht. Mr. Burns is going to boast about a blimpersine and most drinking champagne. Well, it is technically a mansion. I just thought they were going to go to Mr. Burns' mansion, not an ice mansion. But I'll take it. I mean, come on now. Here. Oh. America is not a place for seatbelt wearing cowards. I guess they just go to the closest mansion. Now, this is a mansion. God wants us to kill his trees. I can't believe I'm on a blimp I was as happy as Tom Hanks in Big when he got to date that hot older businesswoman. It is a magnificent mode of transportation. Sure, it takes four times as long as driving a car, but you can't beat the feeling of looking down on all of Springfield from up here. Smithers, refill our champagne while I excuse myself to the urinal. What urinal? Oh, you mean the city below us, of course. So Smithers, are you like this rich guy's butler or something? No, I'm an elite member of Mr. Burns' inner circle. I approved myself and thus obtained a status beyond my success. Jeez, I don't need your whole life story. Look, Mo, before we get to Burns' manor, I should warn you. Warn me? So this is some creepy eyes wide shut type party? No. Did you recently see that movie or something? You keep mentioning it. Nah, i never seen it. There is no after party. What? If the Burns didn't invite you to his mansion just to stay one night, he's inviting you to live there for the summer as his latest protege. 
That's what you're warning me about? That I get to live at an awesome mansion for the entire summer. Is there a pool? I bet there's a pool. There are several pools. Do you really think Mr. Burns regards you as anything other than a toy? Who cares? 30 minutes ago, he's bartending for non-tipping fat cats. And now, I'm taking a limousine blimp to a mansion. Uh, uh, again, that just kept going. The Great Burnsby. Moe's being whisked away to become the portrait of Mr. Burns. We're sure that this will probably work out well for everyone. Now, this is a pretty strong hint as to some of the items that we're getting. We're getting a tree. We're getting a bench. We're getting neither of those, so don't worry. But we're getting some other things, as you can see in the picture. The finish the quest before April 3rd. Turn all new contents. Oh yeah, it keeps going again, doesn't it? What kind of burns his manner? Some people call it salt burns. Not sure why. Anyway, let me give you a quick tour. Oh dear goodness, do we have to? Wow, this is huge. How did you pay for... Never mind, I'll just look it up on Zillow later. Very gentlemanly of you. By later I mean now. Holy crap! The Zestimate doesn't even fit on my screen. Then we'll have to get you a large phone. Now, quick mansion tour. Foyer, second foyer, powder room. Oh, and here's a room that's full of trap doors. Where do they go? Spikes, crocodiles, vats of acid. I like to switch things up. One thing I can assure you though, is none of them lead to an exit. Every second on this earth is a miniature battle. And if your intention isn't to leave the other side in ruin, then you'll be the one who ends up with nothing. Hey, I'm with you. At my tavern, if you don't pay your tab, my 12 gauge comes out to collect. I like you, Mo. Sure, you're rough around the edges, and the specific kind of ugly that I am unable to fully capture using words, but I see a lot of it in you. Again, I'm not trying to respond to all these compliments, so I'll just take that as an insult. It's over. <laughs> it's finally over. All the dialogue is gone. So, what do we have in this short update? You ask? Well, that's not correct. Oh, yes, it is. Never mind. I got confused. Because in the major update that we had, the character that cost money was the flying G Giuseppe. But in this update, we get his building, I guess. But that is, I think it's a mob lawyer. The desk cost real money. And I'll click it if you want to see. So it's $13.99 Canadian, a little bit cheaper if it's American. Once again, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. This is Roberto De Niro, I think is his name, that comes with the personal liability attorney, which is a building. And then there's also the beer bottle fountain. Stacks of beer and green beer fountain. So these are just some of many returning items. Do I have the beer bottle fountain? I feel like I do, because I do kind of remember it. But I don't know if I have it or not. If it was maybe much earlier on where I didn't have as many donuts, maybe I never got it. But I feel like I do have it. And before we wrap it up, let's look at the personal prizes. We've got the Burns' helicopter. We've got a lot of helicopters in this game. And it's very difficult to figure out what episodes they're from. But well, this is going to cost 115 stolen artwork. Burns continue his tour. Mo asks how much each painting costs. This is a crowd of lawyers. Third prize is going to be Springfield Funeral Home. Mo's convertible. And at the very, very end, we've got Maxwell Flinch, who I think is an attorney as well. So we've got a character, two decorations, and a building. I'm sorry, three decorations, a building, and a character. So we have a little bit of everything, which is great. But let me know down below, which of these particular prizes do you think are the best? Helicopter, the crowd of lawyers, building, the car, or the character? I'd be very, very curious to know. And once again, this is available until April 3rd, I believe. So you have a couple weeks, like all mini updates. And I will see you moving forward with all the personal prices and the premium character very, very shortly. Bye-bye, everybody.